Hello friends, my name is Doug. Welcome to Third Style Garage. This is the episode about a restoration of a 66 Beetle convertible named Hendrick with a good friend of mine named Dale. We are working on rebuilding the rear clip of the car, the rear deck lid. Last episode, we transferred over the brace to the 64 deck lid that's going on in the 66. This episode, we are working on adjusting the hinges and fixing damage from a previous accident. Which turns out to be very challenging. See how it goes. So here it kind of looks nice with the deck lid on again. It's starting to look like Dale's car. He's getting a little nostalgic on me. Uh, so it's on, we are just learning how to adjust the hinges on it. And uh, the gap here is a little larger than we'd like. Um, it is probably about a quarter inch, maybe a little larger there. Definitely larger on the edges. But as the deck lid opens, that gets pretty close to hitting. Um, the other, another issue we have is the deck lid sits a little proud. It's a little out too high. So it doesn't quite line up with that plane. You can see it there a bit. Um, but curve wise, we're feeling pretty good about it. Um, our body line here lines up pretty good. Our body line here is off a bit. Um, but if you look in there, um, Dale, can you open it for me? Um, go, go ahead all the way open. Um, right here is where this bracket attaches and this will have to get plug welded together. And I think once this gets plug welded together, this body line here is going to fit a whole lot better. So we're going to take it off. Our plan is to put one plug weld on each side and then test fit it again. And we're hoping that that will get us closer to what we want. So you have one spot plug weld there, one there, one here, and one there. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. We're gonna call that a wrap for the night. Um, the deck lid is on and overall we're pretty happy with it. We've got some good and bad. Um, we were really worried about how this body line was gonna match up because the first time we put the deck lid on, it hung way over here because the curve was flexed out. This curve was not right. But this looks pretty good. Our body line looks pretty decent over here. Um, this gap is what's challenging us right now. So the gap is a little bit too large right here. And you can see there's a, um, the gap is the largest right here where I did this joint. So, um, this upper piece, you know, that gap needs to be less. We need to pull that lip down or fill it a little bit. And then our gap gets, is pretty really nice through here. And then right about here, right where this line is, from here to here, it starts getting more narrow. From this line to this line, it's a little too narrow. And then it ramps back up larger and it's pretty nice through here. And then I got a open, I got a big gap here right by my weld again. Um, and the rest of this looks pretty good. So we're going to try to massage that body line to get it as perfectly parallel as we can. So that's, that's one task we're going to do. 
Second task is we're gonna take it back off and work on these rust holes and pulling that bracket out. Um, and then we will put it back in after fixing those rust holes and massaging that and we'll test fit everything again. If we get it fitting the way we want, then I think we're gonna work on those hinges because right now it is at the end of its adjustment with the bolts that attach the hinges and the hinge bracket where it attaches to the body. Um, and when we're done and we get this back from paint, we wanna make sure we've got lots of adjustment to get it to fit the way we want it. And it is a Tuesday night in Michigan. It's January 15. Um, and there's a blizzard outside and a snowstorm. And uh, Dale's typical half hour commute took him well over an hour to get here. And there's white out black ice on the road. So we're gonna call it a night. But the good news is we get a bonus day on Saturday. There we go. So uh, we're going to pick up where we left off in a couple days and we'll work on it on Saturday again. And Dale, I really like the lights in the engine compartment. Yeah. I think you need to put LEDs in there. Some, Ooh, you uh, just wait. You some, just wait. Some neon lights or something. <laughs> and if your name is Mark Witty, thanks for watching. Oh, look at that. Popped right out. There we go. We just finished it. Seriously. Not that we did it yesterday and forgot to video it. So right. we've got the spot welds drilled out along here. And now we have better access to uh, grind this clean. And then we are going to sandblast this piece as well. And you can see we get a little light behind there. The pinholes in here. So we'll get that cleaned up and we'll start making a plan for how we're going to fix that before we reassemble it. <laughs> so that's, that's, there's oh, supposed a drain to be, a, hole. that's a drain hole that doesn't drain much. <laughs> that one, that one's a little better, but not much. All right. So we'll, 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 we'll get to it. Too. <laughs> morning third style, it's Saturday morning and we've got an extra day to work on Hendrick today. Today, my hope is to work on the fitment of the deck lid to this, we're calling kind of a balance panel. Um, right now, we are a little wide through here, uh, a little wide through here, and then this stretch is pretty nice and standard. We get thin through here, and then it opens back up. This stretch is pretty nice, and then it gets a little wide uh, where our weld is here. We're realizing if I push down with my knee, that affects this gap. So we don't know exactly the angle of the deck lid yet, but we would like to get this a little bit closer to a, a about an even quarter inch gap. So I've taken some measurements uh, with my calipers from there to there. And let me show you. So I've taken some measurements here um, across this piece. So I'm about 1.41, 1 1.43, 1 1.53, 1.88, 1.87, 1.99. Um, now I'm gonna take the calipers and kind of measure this gap to see how much we need to open it up with the hopes that I can massage this edge up higher with a body hammer um, and then try to pull this edge down a little bit or uncurl that radius um, just to get this a little bit closer and then we'll do a final adjustment later all right so this is the area that we're most happy with and we are at uh, 0.22 so just a little bit shy of a quarter inch so 0.220 and we're starting to get a little thin here, 0 0.180, 0 0.160. We get really thin through here. We're at 0 0.100. Zero. Again, really thick through here, 0 0.100. Zero. Point 
five zero. Uh, and we're at point two five zero here. Um, so it looks like we've got about a hundred thousand swing across that. Um, so we're gonna work on straightening that out a little bit. So with the deck lid back on and just looking approximately at our gap, we're looking better than we were before. Gets a little tight through here. This stretch is looking pretty good. Gets a little bit thicker through here. Um, we did close this gap up some. I welded up a little creative puller with a lip on the end that I could stick under there and then uh, tap on the back side of this with a hammer to pull. And uh, actually, sorry, pulled this way um, to uncurl that lip just a little bit. And we gained about another hundred thousandths there. So moving forward, and uh, I think we're gonna leave this for right now and work on the adjustment of the hinges. Right now, the hinges are, we've got some washers between the hinge and this bracket. Um, the left bracket, the spot right there where it mounts, right there in the back, was all cracked. And uh, we've got, Dale, can you hold the deck lid? So if you look right here, we've got two washers that are in there uh, because there seems to be, this might've gotten mushed up at one point. We're also not sure if those hinge brackets are the same left to right, right to left. So we might just swap them and see if that affects the fitment of the deck lid. But um, right now we're right at the maximum uh, adjustment of the slots on the screws and we had to add a couple washers so we want to tweak things to get things back into the middle of the adjustment so later when it comes back from paint we can put it together uh, and adjust it well we also have three more holes here to get rid of and two holes right here um, that are not stock the rest need to stay so we're just going to keep practicing putting the deck lid on and off and on and off and on and off till we like it, till these sides fit right, and we'll keep moving. So we are learning more as we go. The puzzle pieces are starting to make sense. So this spot right here you can see is warm because I welded the underside of it. it there had some cracks to it. Um, we thought they were stress cracks from being old and we were able to pull it. The nut had been bent up, so we pulled it back down. Now we're noticing that there's a decent, not a huge gap right here. But if we look on the passenger side, the gap is smaller. Um, this radius looks a little less crisp than that radius does back there and if i put a straight edge i, I set my straight edge down um, this seems bowed up a bit here's my straight edge um, so if i lay this across you can see it's fairly flat all the way when i lay it here there's a really large gap at this and indicating that this spot is high. Um, so we're gonna work on straightening that, but I think the reality is that this bracket mount, I don't know what it's called, needs to come back down a little bit. So this gap is closed up. That will help, um, Lord willing, the hinge mount more in the right spot. 
So I'm gonna get a big hammer and tell Dale to look the other way and I'm gonna start fixing his car for him. <laughs> All right, quick update on where we are. As you can tell from the time lapse, the hood's been on and off and on and off. We put, pounded down here, which helped level this left hinge. Um, the gap up here is better between these two to match the other side. Um, but now we're in a situation where this gap is pretty good and we get too big here. Um, so I think we've gotten this mounting surface for the hinge level. It's level with the other side, but I think it's too low now. So I think we may have pushed down too far here that this whole bracket needs to go upward. I'm trying to point upward. Because <laughs> um, overall, it's fitting really well. We have no washers in anything anymore. We're trying to get everything to sit the way we want it. We just need to work on closing this gap. So our next, our next attempt is gonna to be to try to move this mounting surface upward. Hi, Dale. <laughs> This reminds me of a door hinge we did one time. Yeah. Did it move? It did, about an eighth of an inch. So, um, I think we can also All right, let's reassemble it. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Let me out, Dale. <laughs> All right, so we're trying to fix this gapping right here and Doug's on the inside. Hi. Got to figure this out. I am sitting in the engine compartment. When we put a washer on here, like so, and reassembled it, everything seemed to fit much better. So we are going to put a bolt in here and use a pry bar to pull down on that to try to lower this welded in nut the thickness of one washer and then reassemble. Pull down on this bolt about a sixteenth of an inch um, and we're going to reassemble it. We're also going to slot these uh, deck lid brackets, um, just drop that slot down just a touch to give us a little bit more adjustment. The hood was sitting a bit proud so we're, I'm going to grind a little out of the bottom. Back together again. We're getting much closer. This side is looking pretty good, although it's a little proud. It needs to go in this way a little bit. We also remember we only have one plug weld in. So I think the curve of the deck lid here, the radius needs to be tightened. This side now has a little bit too large of a gap. We're at just about three eighths of an inch instead of a quarter. So we're gonna try to bend 
that mounting surface up a little bit to pull this up. See if we can get a little closer. Okay, so we're measuring from the floor up to the head of the bolt, and we are at adjusting the bolt. Big 30, yeah, 38 inch. Okay, Dale's gonna hold it right there. I'm gonna try to lever and uh, pull that welded in nut down just a little bit. There, it's, it's moving. Yep, yep. That's a 16th. Maybe even just shy of 16th, 32nd. Just, yeah, it's about a 32nd of an inch. Should we go a touch further? Uh, you call it good? I would rather do it twice than go too far. All right. Well, put it all back together. Back together again. <laughs> Time to make the donuts. <laughs> Hello to our friends in West Michigan. And Mark Witte. And Bob and Heather. Deck lid is on. And overall, we're pretty happy with the curve. So we need to finalize welding the deck lid to the brace underneath it, which will kind of finalize the curve of this. We're happy with the curve through here. Let's see if I can show you this. But if you look up the deck lid, you can see that the deck lid runs low here and this panel is high. And you can see that our gap is pretty good, and all of a sudden our gap disappears and then gets large again. So we would like to take this portion of it and pull it out just a little bit and then finish welding this in. So that's gonna be job one for us today. We're gonna to see what we learn while we do that. Job two is gonna be messing with the fit and finish of this side because we're the parallel or the, the it's pretty flush, nicely so. It's a little proud, um, but then our gap gets really small through here, and uh, we need to figure out what to do with that. But we're gonna tackle this side first. We're gonna take it off and see if we can kind of bend this edge out. So Dale took out this spot weld, or plug weld, and this plug weld, and so now, we need to we need to redo this curve. We don't really know how much. So um, what I first did was I just kind of put my elbow on here. We, by the way, we added two more plug we added two more plug welds here because we don't want this section to change. It was good. So I'm just gonna put a little weight on there. We got the marks. Oh yeah, and uh, just pull up gently on this until I feel it start to bend. So it sits up a little higher. Um, Dale just pointed out, if you look right there, there's a scribe line as to where it was before. And right in here, there's a scribe line. So now I'm gonna push down on here and just kind of, I don't know, we're just trying to, we want to get it where it, ideally the two sit relaxed together because otherwise I'm afraid if we test fit and it's right, then we clamp this, they, they meet in the middle. But there's no way to put a clamp on it and test fit it. That's our dilemma. What do we do about that? All right, we're gonna scratch our heads for a little while longer. Following along at home, you may have caught onto this quicker than we did, but we bent to this edge up and that was the wrong way. So we actually are really glad we didn't weld it back in because this gap over here was way too tight, which means the curve needs to come out, which is this way, not this way. So shame on us. Um, so now we're gonna try to bend this down, which will flex the deck lid out. We can go past our scribe marks and then we'll test fit again. Do you want to come over here and hold this? Yep. Uh, I'm going to try to bend just this brace so that way it pushes it up against that. Okay. 
can't do anything. To where we back were. Where we were. Let's try one more time. Back the first step. Okay. Well, let's put it on and try it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try again. I think we've got some pretty good news. So we took the apron off, as you saw. And we don't really know exactly what happened and not all of our problems went away. Uh, but this gap suddenly looks much straighter all the way across, which is partly because the deck lid closed further. Um, on this side, um, where our deck lid is just a touch proud which is what we want. We could always adjust it in, but we also know this is gonna have to get built up with Bondo because it's quite wavy a bit. Um, and then we are going to use a body hammer and try to curl this edge just in a little bit. Um, but if we look down this line, we are really happy with that surface and the way it meets up so this side's looking pretty good the uh the way the deck lid closes on the seal i think we'll be happy with um later we're gonna work on massaging this upper valance piece to make this gap as perfectly flat as we can we can close this up a touch next for us is uh we've got one plug weld here but we don't have this bracket completely attached yet on the inside of the deck lid. But overall, this gap's matching decent here. We do hit a little bit there. So uh, we're gonna radius that edge. Then we're gonna start figuring out how to make this attach or how to get this to fit well. But we, man, about a half hour ago, we were down in the doldrums a little bit and uh, wondering if this was ever going to come close. But now we're like, that's a gap I'd be proud of if it were my car. It's I'm not, proud. It's not my car. <laughs> I'm proud of Dale's car. All right. Decklet's coming off for the, what, 30th time? 35. Here we go. All right. This is one of the jobs that's caused us the most practice in being patient. But look at that. We got a nice gap all the way across. Our curve matches pretty good. We've got a nice gap through here, curves around. We're really happy with the way that we radius this. We ended up, uh, can you lift it up, Dale? We ended up radiusing it and then grinding, kind of as we curled it around, we ended up grinding the back side of it to give it the contour that we wanted. Um, and our alignment here. So focus. It's pretty solid. Um, now we are on this side. We need to scratch our heads and figure out what's next. Um, this alignment's pretty good. We get pretty tight through here. And then this is proud above that. You can see that it sticks up a bit. Um, and we only have a plug weld there and a, that little plug weld there holding this bracket on. So we need to work on the shaping of that. And um, we're not quite sure how to do that. So we're gonna scratch our heads and think. All right, so we have a plan for this side. Our plan, step one, is we're going to put the spring in the deck lid because we have never opened and closed this with a spring in. We don't know if that changes anything. Step two, we like this profile 
up until this body line. And then the spot between my two fingers comes out too much. Whereas this part of the body is fairly flat. So we're gonna try to massage this down so it's a little flatter. That's step two. Step three is we're gonna curl this edge the way we did on the other side and then take the decklet on and off four times, which we're not gonna video for your sake and our sake. And we got about a half hour before we're out of time tonight. And we're gonna see if we can get a nice even gap all the way along here with a nice radius edge so you don't see this sharp edge of the sheet metal. Um, also, we'll, I think we can even up the gap instead of being so large here and actually touching there. One, two, three. We'll see how it goes. So we ran into a little snag. I think we've test fit this decklet so many times that this threaded bolt, threaded hole wore out and the thread stripped. Um, this one is looking acceptable, but not by a whole lot. Um, so they've been in and out a lot of time. So filled this one with weld on both sides, still a little warm. So now I'm gonna work on grinding it smooth and we're gonna re-drill and tap that. There we go. Um, to get a good threaded bolt in there again. A threaded hole, tapped hole in there. Boy, words are hard. The tap size is an M6 by 1.0, which converts very close to the pre-drill size is real close to a 3 16 So we're gonna drill a hole through the center with a 3 16 so weld it, ground it flat, drill the hole through. So the tap, the threaded hole is an M6 by 1.0. I found that out by trial and error. Uh, I've got a kit of inexpensive tap and die set I bought off Amazon. Works in a pinch. Um, looked online and basically if you haven't done this before you drill a, a a hole through that is the right size for the tap and that leaves that's the center of your hole and then you will thread this tap through which has really sharp flutes on it which will cut the new threads in and you'll have a new tapped hole these taps are extremely hard and sharp, which makes them um, hard enough to cut through, cut the new threads through, but also typically hardness is a trade-off for strength, and so they get brittle. So you gotta be careful as you tap it. So uh, I'm gonna put a little oil on it, and I'm not gonna film it because I want my hands free. Um, the key is just to hold it real straight and carefully thread this through by hand and uh, it should cut the new threads. Um, the, this calls for a five mil hole to be drilled through. I have an English drill bit set, so 3 16 is a little too small, but I also know that I'm drilling it by hand and my drill bit was a little dull, so it probably drilled a little oversized. So I'm gonna try to tap a 3 16 hole with a six mil by 1.0 tap. Let's see if it works. A little oil on the tap. Here we go, you gotta hold it straight. It is not grabbing and starting to cut. So I think I need to step up one drill bit size. 
All right, so now we're up to 13 64ths on the drill bit size. Um, you know, I could always put a knot on the back side and weld it in. Um, I just don't think that's quite as original looking or the right way to do it. This seems to be biting the way that I want it to weld. I don't know that much about this, but my from my understanding, the welding material, like the uh, MIG wire is a higher purity than a lot of original form stamped cold roll, hot roll steel. Uh, and so tapping it is it's tough it's hard and it's strong i think this is going to go all the way through without breaking which is good sometimes taps just crack on you and getting them out is a bear and a half seems to be cutting well it's starting to get easier as it goes further in it each pass those flutes Cut each groove a little bit further. There we go. And we got a tapped hole. This is a tap wrench and uh, it is just a tool that holds the tap by the little square end on it. I'm really happy with that. And here's our finished project. Here's the original hole, what it looks like. Here's the newly welded in and retapped hole. And it actually doesn't look much different on the back side. So Doing good about that. All right, time to work on this corner. The deck lid is back on and uh, I fully expected to be this the clip to show you how great this looks. It's flush, the gap is nice on this side and that we're at the same spot on this side. Eventually, this gap is just a touch too large right here. Eventually we'll massage that down, but we decided we're gonna do that later. Oh, lost my balance. Right now, this gap is lining up really well through here. We're really happy with it until right there. From here to there, we've got a problem and you'll see it more from this angle. That is sitting proud. So this is higher than this. If I massage this radius down, suddenly I'm overlapping and hitting here. And I've spent a day and a night now scratching my head as to what to do about that. We did radius this edge to give it a little cleaner look, but this needs to tuck in needs to go down otherwise we're gonna have to build this up with Bondo in a huge way and that's not right so one solution I wrestled with is I can make a slit through here which will allow this to collapse and weld it back up um, then this spot should be able to go down without compromising this fit we got to remember right underneath here is that bracket so that means I would either need to cut through the bracket as well, which is a possibility, or detach that bracket. Um, the path I think I'm gonna take is I'm going to remove a little material off the end of this. Now it is a bent over edge, which means that I will need to re-weld and reform that edge and then straighten this out. Um, Flatten this out a little bit so this sharper radius will smooth out as it comes here. 
thus hopefully keeping the same linear edge along this side. That's the plan. We're making progress. So we, I massaged this down. Now you can see from this angle that um, this is not nearly as proud as this is. We are planning on building this up because this body line right here is a little messed up. It's quite, there's a dent here and doesn't line up perfectly with the deck lid body line. So this is gonna need to get reshaped. So we want this to be a little bit proud. Come on, focus camera. Um, so now that we have this kind of where we want it, the last problem is this spot right there to there. We watch the door deck lid open. See those shiny spots? It's where the deck lid begins to rub right there. This gap is really nice here. And from right about here to here, it hits. As it closes, it hits and kind of gets splayed out. So we need to just remove a little material right in this area. So in the flange, I did not cut into the outer surface of the deck lid. I cut a slot about three inches long. I'm going to take my hammer and dolly hammer and I'm going to work on moving this radius over um, to close that gap and then uh, test fit it. Then hopefully, I think the curve right at the tip of my fingernail right there is what I want to follow with this edge. And that way I won't have messed up the deck lid surface at all. And if I can get that to fit well, then I'll weld that back together. So I think that is going to be a wrap for this episode. I am feeling better about this. Uh, watch. We've got a nice gap kind of all the way down. That stays a gap as it opens and closes. It's not rubbing anymore. Um, this will smooth in. When this gets built up a little bit with Bondo, smooth that out. Our gap across the top is pretty nice. Um, remember how I mentioned earlier that one of those four hinge bolts had stripped out? Well, a couple times later, I've had this deck lit on and off, who knows how many times. Um, one of the, the two or three times later, the other bolt stripped out and now on this side, the bottom one stripped on me. Um, so I'm going to weld both of those up and then re-tap them. Um, this, took, this took a lot of work, a lot more than we anticipated. Next, we're going to move on to repairing the, what do you call it, the nose or the tip of the deck lid. We have this brace out that is full of pinholes and... Uh, We'll be figuring that out next episode. Thanks for being part of this. Have a great day. Um, we'll see you soon. Bye.